what is up guys so today I've got an updated uh, version of my tutorial for how to make CSGO skins so today I'll do a update of that uh, as I got a bit of a more knowledge on how to easily make him if you got a good idea on what you want to uh, what you on what you want the gun to look like so I will show you how to do that today with an update and it will be a lot quicker because I know how to check what your gun will look like if without going into the game. Everything will be happening in Photoshop. So what we need to do is download a gun, uh, what gun you want to do the skin for and you will have those three files. So what you want to do is open, up, open the Tagra file, that's the, uh, the layer on which we'll be working on and then you want to open RBJ file which is this one so after you've done that you will, you will go over to the 3D and yeah, as you can see we got a gun but we need to upload the texture of it so we'll need to head over to 3D uh, pick on material and as you can see on the top we will click this icon next to it replace texture and find the texture from the folder that we downloaded so it's this one and pick Tagra and as you can see the skin uh, has been uploaded we just need to light it up as you can see the gun is looking fine okay so the first uh, the second bit what we need to do is uh, change something in here so what we whatever we want to do so for example I want to make the gun black just for tutorial purposes so let's make another layer I've just made and just fill it up with black that's all and then just file save as and the file what you need to save as is Tagra so the previous one we have as you can see I've had it before so I will just replace it and we head over to the 3D and in here you do the same thing what you did before to upload this skin so it's material first uh, first icon on the top replace texture and you look for the texture tag file that you just saved and then you get, as you can see the game is uh, game gun is fully black so that's the easier way to see what the gun is looking like in, instead of going into the game and looking up in there so that should save a lot of time in my opinion so after you know what the gun will, what if, if you're happy with how the gun looks, you head over to VTF Edit, I will link in the description as well so you can download it, open it up, and then uh, click import, and then you need to find the uh, Tagra file that you saved, so mine's here, I'll open up, you save everything as it is, click OK, wait for it to open, after it opens you can check by doing those sliders more than you will see anything in mine because it's purely black and you click save so you save it whatever you save it whatever you call it and save it save and right now I will head over to to the game and I will show you how to import your gun into the game and then publish it so I will be right back what is up guys so as you can see I am in the game so the first thing what you want to do is head over to options game settings and go is it right down I'm not so sure right now let me just no it's right at the top so as you can see it says here enable developer console and then tilt key you have to have it as yes so make sure you got that after you've done that head over to the main menu for home screen on CSGO click a tilt key which is under escape key and put work shop underscore work bench so after you put work it should show up in like a box like as you can see here so you hit enter and then you will have this window let me just make it a bit bigger all right so as you can see you've got a bunch of settings at first it might look scary but it's not so on, in the left top corner you see none so what you have to do is go on the custom paint job after you've done that you get head over to this location over here next to the sliders and pick the gun which you made the skin for so in my case is AK-47 
and then you head over back to the left top corner, choose Spartan, and then choose the VTF file that you saved uh, before, and I've picked the wrong one, so let me pick the, pick the right one, so it's this one, and then at the bottom you put all the sliders right to the end, to the left, so as you can see the gun is, is black, but it still doesn't look too good so what you want to do is go over to the here to the left top corner and as you can see it says ignore weapon size scale you have to tick that and the gun should look how you made it before and I think I picked a wrong one so let me just pick the right one AK-47 yes so this one is the one I've uh, did purely black and as you can see the gun still doesn't look too good and this could be possibly because of your video settings so let me just close this this card and let me change my video settings to everything too high and we'll, you will see how the gun looks then so so even for just the tutorial purposes it's good to turn your um, uh, video settings up to see what the gun will look like in the game Because sometimes I think it's the shadows That uh, decrease the look of the gun. So I will just quickly do all the steps that I've just showed you So I don't have to go through it again and So as you can see the gun looks a lot better right now because I put the video settings up so if you know if you're happy with the way that your gun looks like you click right uh, on the bottom right corner you click save as uh, you call it whatever you want and uh, save it somewhere where you will know and then after you've done that you click submit uh, the little program will open up so as you can see uh, it will if you don't have this that's the first time you are uh, uploading this it will download the program it's called SDK I think and then you fill up this bunch of settings so as you can see text te txt file it's already uploaded because you saved it tagra tga that's tagra file so that's the file saved in Photoshop before converting it into VTF and as you can see VTF is also uploaded for you already you publish images, call it the title, what you want the gun to call it, and description. And then you click publish, and then the gun will be get published. So I hope I helped you. This tutorial has been helpful for you, and you enjoyed uh, doing it. <laughs> doing it. Uh, so yeah, guys, I think that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, smack that like button if you liked it. And subscribe for my future videos, and I will see you later.